Selamat pagi! Today we are going to learn about Malaysian history and culture by making crafts. This is a great experience for both adults and kids. So first, we're going to get our hands working hard by knocking some pewter into bowls. Later, we're going to get our hands dirty in the batik making process here at Jati Batik. First up is Royal Selangor. And did you know that Kuala Lumpur was founded by tin miners? 400 years ago in Malaysia, we used animal money as our currency. It was a pure thing that minted into animal form. The value based by weight, the heavier it is, the more value it was because it was too heavy to carry it around. Therefore, we start to use a coin, the monetary shape. So it's easy to use to just pluck the power while the branch and trunk be collected to recycle again. So, who says money doesn't go on trip? is the main component for a pewter. So pewter is combination mainly tin with antimony and copper. So antimony to make it durability because tin is really soft while copper is to make it strength so it becomes pewter. I liked making this. It was basically just a flat piece of metal and then I pounded it in the circles. So then it took the shape of it and became the ball. And I got to print my name on it. Very good. Okay, how about yours, Haru? So I just made it into a boss. Hyper plate. It's kind of not very like a ball though. What are you going to use it for, Haru? Some for playing. It. Playing? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You can't put food in it. Ponto? Mm -hmm. What are you going to use yours for, Kaisho? I don't know. No. They're cool though, huh? Mm -hmm. Very cool. It's like a hat. <laughs> <Boshi>. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to add that there was something really satisfying about pounding this piece of metal. So I'm really glad I got to help Haru. <laughs> Highly recommended, lots of fun. There is a more advanced workshop called the Foundry. It looks really cool as well, but that's like 200 ringgit. And with three kids, 
it was kind of hard for us to do, so we had to pass on that. Batik has a long cultural history with Malaysia, with its origins tracing back to the 13th century, where it was influenced by Indonesia. Today, we're going to paint some batik. We're here at Jadi Batik, which is right near where we're staying. We're going to get to try our hand at putting on some wax and then paint. Let's see how we do. difficult. We had to trace it two times, but um, the second time was definitely harder because we had to do it with the wax, which is right here. It is very hot. I agree. Drawing with the wax was way more difficult than I expected, even though I've done this a little bit before and did not do a very good job. And then she had to help us by going over the wax again before we paint it to make sure the paint doesn't seep through. So definitely more challenging than I thought. That was quite time consuming doing the wax and then the painting and we really filled them all in with color. It was nice to do some art though. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. But now we still gotta let them dry. We had the option to either leave the wax on and just frame it that way or they could wash the wax off. More of the complete process, but I like the way the gold wax looks on mine with the colors. So we both opted to keep the wax. Here, boshi for sodi. Ah! Why do <laughs> Kinda you looks like a spaceship. <laughs> stop making my hat. My hat fell on the mat. After that, I have this. Oh, you got a certificate too. How did, was that a lot of fun? Mm -hmm. Was it hard work? Yes. <laughs> How about you guys, was it hard work? Give us some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.